G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Today's video is another one from Alton Goods, the Ultralight Hammock Bug Net, which here in Australia we need. So that's the size of it. Squash is only even smaller. So they say the length is 2.9 meters by 1.25 uh, meters. That's in drop. I suppose that would be laying flat. You've got the Noceon Micro Mesh, total packed weight of 275 grams, a pack size is 19.5 centimeters by 11 centimeters by 11 centimeters, and it comes with guy line hooks and one 10 meter Dyneema 2 millimeter ridge line. So let's go and get it put up on the hammock and see what it's like. Okay, got the hammock up behind me. Got the ultralight hammock bog net. So uh, yeah, let's get it out and get it up. Again, this comes in a double-ended stuff sack. I might replace the stuff sack for these two for something a bit bigger. I can pack it away. Oh, got the ants biting me. <laughs> With the bug net and the hammer calling one double ended stuff set. So I don't know if Alton Goods actually make them a bit bigger. I'll have a look. Now, initial looks, it looks nice. I do like it. So there's the the guy lines about 10 meters that they said or the ridge line sorry to go across the top and we've got hooks here we should come to that nice in there okay all looks nice there's the zip the easiest way of doing this is they said about pushing the end of the um, hammock from the inside through this so we're gonna have to open this to get the hammock in there to pull the ends of the hammock out zips on the other side they're big zips they are I thought they put something smaller and lighter on Oh, but it still works pretty good. Okay. Well, I'm going to lay this actually in the hammock. And undo one end and then put it through and reconnect it. And then bring the other end through and connect it up here. I'll get it the right way round. So I want the hooks at the top, so it's got to go that way. And the zips on this side. So the wind's blowing it off. The right way to do. And that's holding it. Hands there, bring that all hands through. So I'll get it through where the hand is. I think you need the hand through, Just push the carabiner in. I bought the handy from the outside, I should have. See, that's what it's done. Pull that through. Okay. 
where it was. Do the same this end. Oh, here's the other end. And this I'm going to actually put my hand through that way and grab the carabiner. Where are we? Here we are. that easy, not when it's hanging up, I really should have done it, put it up and this at the same time. with a line lock on it, I'll cinch it down and we're going to do the same at the other end. I got the other end all twisted up so we do it and next I'll put the ridge line up which is actually going to hold these hooks onto which will go up. Now I'm thinking they might work if I keep them level where the tree strap is connected to the tree. So let's put it and find out. Now this ridge line <laughs> they, they give you 10 meters of it. You don't need that much to be honest but yeah you, you get plenty so you're not going to go without. So what this ridge line is for is these hooks to clip those on. Now I'm going to get in the hammock. That's going to hold the bug net up off my face and all I've done is connected it to the actual tree straps which come up to the tree. I don't know if you can see just here. Um, could have done it a bit tighter. Just tighten it up a bit. There you go. Lifted it up a little bit more. It is. It's got a gentle breeze and it's actually pushing it under the hammock and let's show you on the outside everything so here we go this is the bit we put the carabiner through and we just cinched it up so now it can go that far and it won't go any further here's your ridge line only small I might actually replace that if it's going to go around the tree because that thin even though it's not got much pressure it's chance of damaging the trees if you replace that with some I don't know what we're thinking of the power cord which is a bit a lot thicker yeah it'll just protect the trees a bit more well it's got this nice hem I probably have done it in black I wish I'd done it in green to match the colour goes through here again here yeah and these actually turn so it doesn't matter which way around they are, you can still clip them on. This side I ended up putting around the tree, not too tight though. And that's the, the sack from the hammock on there. We've got the zip here. It's pretty decent. Stitching's a bit big for my liking but it's going to do the job, that's all that matters. And you can see, you've got plenty of room underneath to put your gear sling. And let's see how easy it is 
to do up. Actually, before we do that, what we do have on the inside, you can see it hanging through the mesh, is underneath where it's hooked on top, we've got like a little gear pouch, and that hooks, and that's stitched between, below that hook there. We've got another one there, not quite below that. You thought they would have made that a bit longer just to give it the strength for this bit, but we can get some gear in there. And they've put another loop here. So I suppose maybe one day they'll start selling these as accessories. Actually, I don't know if they do or not, but I'll go and have a look when I get home. And you could have two, so you can have a little bit more hanging from this. We don't put anything too heavy on it. Okay, that's open. Let's see how easy it is to get inside of this. Over the head, roughly in the middle. It's got a double zip on it. It's pretty decent. It's uh, holding it like the triangle shape away from the face. Plenty of room below there so I could fit a gear sling with all my gear in that so I don't have to have it hanging on the tree or on the ground. Yeah, it's excellent. It's just on small webbing, it's not uh, bungeed, not elect elasticated. Yeah, that's just in the right position it'd be for me. A little mesh front on it. Feels like the similar material as the hammock on the back of it. The important part is <coughs> it stops the bugs getting in. Nothing worse than laying there, falling to sleep and having something buzzing around your ear. Yeah. And that zip opened easy then, I just gave it a pull. The actual material, and that opened nice, nice and smooth. That's a thumbs up. Yeah, they're branded with YKK zippers, so that's good. Oh, that's a thumbs up from me, I like that. Yeah, so this, this one. This, this will go into, oh excuse me, my little Bergen, my little green Bergen, my army green, which is very very similar colour to this. And that's one thing I do like about Olsen goods, the actual colour, it's like the military army green colour, fits in really nice in the bush here in WA, or in most parts of uh, the forest land. But especially here, I've got a tent, very similar colour, I had it over there and looking over with the grass trees you couldn't see it until you shone a torch and you could just see the reflective in the guy lines. So if I hadn't put my torch over there I wouldn't have seen it. In the daytime it was very similar, I had to really concentrate to see it through. So with it being the same colour as this, or very similar, I think that's this is going to work really well. Like I said, I just wish this was green, not black. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, the, the straps working well. They're really nice, easy to use, lightweight. The hammock, again, comfortable. It's good, I like it. Um, I'm happy to say I like the quality of the finish on it. The bog net, apart from being nitty, uh, nitty picky with the, the colours up here, if they'd been green, like I said, matching this. 
it, it's good it's nice like it's got the no seal mesh so you're going to get none of those little tiny little buggers getting in there what you get with the cheaper brands they're just a mesh there and the holes are big enough for a lot of the smaller mozzies and stuff to get through it just stops the the bigger flies but this yeah i like it especially because they've given us room at the bottom here to have the gear sling underneath it so i'll be able to have the under quilt on or under blanket whatever you want to call it and a gear sling with my stuff in so yeah i, I like this so if if you've enjoyed the video and you got something from it and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and hit the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much